Hail and well met everyone, Captain Deadeye is back with you with more World of Warcraft Classic and our Hardcore Night Elf Druid. Hope everyone's doing well today, thank you so much for clicking on the video and spending just a few moments of your day with me. We are over in Oberdyne, we are going to begin questing here in Darkshore today. Uh, I dread this zone, it is a tough zone, but uh, we're, we have to do it and we're going to do it. So... Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the rest of the quest here, and then we're going to head out and start uh, start some action here. So let's get going. Uh, we'll pick up Cave Mushrooms, but we're not going to do it right away because it's a very difficult quest. We're probably going to wait till at least level 20 to do this one. Cave. The cave lies behind Cliffspring Falls to the east and slightly north along the mountains. I would go there myself but I was advised by the Grove of the Ancients to stay away from that place. Our venerable allies sense that the cave is the hiding place for a new evil in Darkshore. Please, adventurer, gather the mushrooms for me. And while doing so, scout the cave to confirm the Ancients' fears. Yeah, that cave is extremely hard. There's a lot of uh, Naga in there, and they are not uh, friendly. Oh, I did pick up a few more vials. I need to do some more alchemy. How are greetings, lass? If you're looking for the best deals you'll find outside of Ironforge itself, then you've come off the coast of Darkshore to our north are two wrecked ships, the Silver Dawning and the Mist Veil. Some time ago, both ships ran afoul of the blasted Murlocs as they sailed across the vast sea into Oberdeen. They now lie at the bottom of the ocean as trophies for those fiends. Both captains didn't make it out that night, and their logs and other effects are still below in lockboxes. I'd like for you to recover them for us. It would mean a lot to the crew members still around these parts. See you soon. Yeah, you're a little loud there, buddy. I guess you're excited about the work and about the lockboxes. Ishnu, hello, person. It is a pleasure to make person. your acquaintance. <laughs> Do you smell that delicious aroma? It's my secret recipe, adventurer. Fresh strider stew. Delicious. Perhaps you would be interested in learning the recipe. Before I teach you the recipe, you will need to prove that you can handle the beasts. Now, I don't expect you to go out and tame one and ride it back to me. But if you can kill a few and bring back some of their succulent meat, I may be persuaded to show you the ways of Strider Stew. Yep, we're definitely to do that because we want to level cooking. So hopefully she can teach I us a new know. recipe. The ruins of Bashalaran to the east are overrun with demonic minions. The sprites and satyrs that have taken up residence in the area feed upon the magical energies of the area. Their power is growing from continued exposure. Even with that, I have noticed that there is one shrine they will not approach. On the western side of the ruins, atop a small bluff, a strange blue aura permeates. There must be an explanation to the demon's reluctance. I would like you to investigate it. Then not. Adventurer, a task I would ask of you. Have you seen the ruins of Ameth Aran? If not, you will find them on the eastern side of the main road, some ways to the south. Once they were the home of many powerful highborn. Now they are a testament to the destruction their dabblings produced. I've been told by the Sentinels that the spirits of the highborn persist and that they wield their ancient magical implements. Those relics must be appropriated so that we might destroy them. So we're going to pick up a lot of these uh, low-level herbs like uh, Peace Bloom and Silver Leaf here in um, Darkshore. So I'm going to go ahead and create um, these potions. I can throw them in the bank. Um, and just, they are taking up inventory space. It's the only problem. And I do have some in the bank already, but I do want to make lesser healing potions once we start getting... Um, once we start getting... Firethorn. Alright, we have five of everything else. So we're good there. I'm just trying to clean up my inventory a bit. What's that? Yeah, we should have plenty of potions now. All right, let's go. Three more quests to pick up here. Well, two more, really. Tower of Athalax. That's going to be a tough one. What greetings, person? I am Tarnarian Tree. A person. 
A sickness spreads across the dark shore, gripping the minds and bodies of all it touches. The thistle bears have been hit the hardest by this plague. The once noble beasts are now an instrument of destruction, rabid and frenzied. I may have a cure for this ailment. Take this trap to the forest and lay it on the ground. Any rabid thistle bear that crosses the light shall become docile for a short time. Once the bear is docile, it shall follow you. Lead it back here, adventurer. Some of my brethren were rescued from a corrupt furbog in Teldrassil, and I vowed to stop any more atrocities before more of our kind are injured. Or worse. I have seen a couple hints of corruption in Darkshore already, but I have yet to find any widespread signs. I think it would be logical if the investigation continued with the furbogs. Would you find one of their camps and return to me if you see any signs of corruption? Hail, young person. I am Alyssa Starbreeze, and it is my charge to protect Oberdeen from harm. To this end, I sent Balfuel Shadowstrike to observe the strange happenings around the Tower of Alpha Lax to the northeast. It is past time that he should have returned. I worry that he has encountered some unforeseen danger in the forest. I would be most appreciative if you would find him and see that he is doing well. So, uh, I guess if it's if they call you by your race, uh, they say person. But if they call you by your class, it's adventurer. Why don't they just say adventurer in general? That that this uh, voiceover is kind of weird in that way. Uh, we're gonna start with the uh, tide crawlers here. We'll get the crawler meat, and then we need to do a little bit of fishing to get uh, Bubba Gump. Um, satisfy him I think I said Bubber Gump but Bubba Gump no, I think it is Blubber Gump actually And there's level 14. Sweet. And we'll go ahead and put another one into this. It was a nice crit. Why does that keep getting turned on? I don't know why it keeps getting turned on. Oh, I'm pointing straight up and down. <laughs> why does this keep getting turned on? Must be something with Leetrix. I need to turn that off because I don't like that. Let's see. 
text interface druid power bar Use class colors, yeah, I like that. So, oxygen controls, trainers, light times, frames, class color, flame, system, combat plates. Oh, if in any many places will be shown during combat and hide when combat ends. Okay, well, let's try it again here. Oh, crap, that was the wrong button. But see, I'm not in combat. That's all the crawler relics we need. Run up here to Buzzbox and throw those in. Toss those in. As you place the crawler legs inside the machine, you hear the gears begin to grind. Judging from the banging sounds coming from the buzz box, you believe the crawler legs to be put in their proper place. Soon the machine begins to hum and you hear a tiny voice calling out. Hello, uh, hello, you fix it. This is Whizbang, by the way. Thanks a lot. Hey, would you like to fix another one, would you? You wouldn't want to fix another one, would you? Uh, Buzzbox 441. Or 411. Ugh. A tiny voice crackles from deep within the machine. Whizbang here. The next Buzzbox is north of Auberdyne on the beach. So that Buzzbox is number 411, and it needs three Thresher eyes for its repairs. They're just off the coast. The Dark Shore Threshers. Oh, sorry about that. Just like the last time, when giving the buzz box the goods, it'll spit out the reward. Hick, what? No, I'm fine. All right, I will. I'll fish on my own. It just takes forever, so uh, I'll, I'll I'll fish up the gaffer jack sometime here soon. But uh, for now, we're gonna just work on combat today and leveling. And I do like this clam because we need the clam meat to cook. Here's some striders for the cooking quest. I just wanted to double check, make sure this was a rabbit thistle bear, not a thistle bear. Otherwise, I would have tried to capture him. I thought it was. Let's see. Let's uh, let's do my pull tactic here. Normally I just hit him with um, not Moonbow. Jeez. Oh, hello. Where are you going? Jeez, I can't, I can't even remember. Uh, Moonfire. I don't know why I can't remember Moonfire lately. I, I keep thinking Moonstrike, and I know that's not correct. Pull this guy away from the bear. That may be a little overkill for the last uh, 
last bit there. But all right, let's go ahead and eat our egg and get our food buff up. back here. So we have one out of five pieces of strider meat. And that's it so far. Always oh, a ton of mana there. I want to be careful. I forget the difference between wrath druids and uh, classic druids because classic you just blow through mana. Wrath you have a little more forgiveness. I'm going to turn, let's see, turn this off. There we go. A little conservation of mana there. Alright, three pieces. Uh, let's get this bear out of the way. Lots of bears and cats around. Be careful. Especially if this guy runs. Yep, which I knew he was going to. At least he ran toward the road. That's good. What's interesting is I haven't seen any herbs. Usually this is a decent herb zone too. Spike Club of Spirit. What do we get? A mace and malachite, which we don't need. All right, we need one more piece of strider meat. Looks like someone else is around. Yeah, I'll go back over here on the other side of the road. Oh, you know what? I did not set my hearth in Auburdine. I'll have to run back. Still sitting in Dolinar. Yeah, someone else is killing the Striders. There's one.
Ooh, nice crit. Unfortunately, did not um, get the meat I needed. Kill this bear. You're in the way, dude. button. Make a shape shift and I hit uh, Moonfire again. Hey, look, I got it right. Moonfire. Crap. No, 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 no. All right, kitty. Let's go. Nice uh, cloth robe, but unfortunately doesn't doesn't give me the armor I need. And we need one more starter meat still. Some herbs over here we can pick up. Briarthorn, sweet. We need Briarthorn for sure. Make some lesser, lesser healing potions. Perfect. Who's stealth? I heard it, but I don't see anyone. I'll have to clean out our inventory here soon. Damn it. Finish with the strider meat. Uh, we can also go back and cook up our clam meat really quick. What level is my cooking? Uh, 101 out of 150. Okay. Since I'm this close, I'm just going to go ahead and turn it in. What brings you here? Fantastic. Try it and tell me what you think, adventurer. Let's see, mining trainer, blacksmith. Well yep, you can repair. I don't think I need the crawler claw, do I? I need running spring water Keep for this. On the ground. We'll cook these clams up, get those out of our inventory. Oh, I meant to sell. That's what I was going to do. Duh. Um, sell all of that. Four stamina and spirit. This does two stamina and spirit. So that does a little bit more. Peace be with you. All right. I'll take five of these. Thank you. Good luck, friend. Is there a cooking fire here? Uh, may not be. Oh, there it is. I think you can use this campfire. I'm pretty sure you can. Let's see. Yep, that's what I thought. I will right, we'll sell the swift thistle also. We don't need that. All right, cool. That's that. 
I think I want to sell these herbs, these eggs, because they only give me two stamina. These things give me four, and I have nine of those, and I have 20 of these guys. Well, I have more than that. I have 17 of those and 19 of these. Well, I'll just, I'll hang on to it for now. Problem is, it just takes up two inventory slots. Welcome. Someone mentioned hanging on to the Swift Thistle. The only thing Swift Thistle is used for is um, Swiftness Potions, which I'm not making currently because um, if you use a Swiftness Potion, you can't use a Healing Potion. So if I'm running away, I'm most likely going to be using a Healing Potion to keep myself alive as I get away. Uh, Swiftness Potions increase your run speed for 50% for 15 seconds. So you have to take your, your choice. You have to take a pick. Uh, do you heal yourself and run away or you try to get away faster uh, my personal preference I'm going to use a healing potion and try to get away uh, because I don't want my health to continue to dropping if they're chasing me I mean it's going to but at least I have more health to, to, to fight with okay let's see we need to do uh, the four bowl camp let's go up here and do Bashalaran. I think we'll do that next uh, we'll also try to capture the thistle bear who's up here as well And as you can tell, we definitely want to make sure um, if you're if you're leveling a Night Elf character, stay in Teldrassil until you're 13. I mean, do all the quests. The only thing I would may or may not do is the escort quest. And I, as you notice, I have not done that yet because it's in a hard zone already. It's in the hard areas with the um, harpies. And escort quests are BS uh, because of the ambushes. It just sucks. Oh, still forgot to set my hearth here. Dang it. Oh, well. For next time. Oh, spirit, oh, spirit healer's there. Okay. Go over the ancients. We need to run down there and turn that in before I out-level it. Alright, but Shalaran's here. We have to go over here and talk to this guy at the top of the hill. I'm just going to hide this because it takes up so much room. Can you do individual quests? I think you can. Let's see. Let's do this. Oops. There we go. That's better. not have removed poisons yet. Oh, I forgot these guys run. Ah. To what could I possibly owe the exceedingly special honor of a person such as yourself as company? Truly, it says much of my current companions, with no offense to my hosts, the noble grells and satyrs, that your presence could be considered an improvement. But please do not let my uncivil tongue drive you from the place. It has indeed been many years, decades even, since I had civil accomplishments. If I were to relate the story of my life, I have no doubt it would surpass the limits of your patience. Let us say that mine has been a long and painful life, and this spectral form is perhaps the worst torment of all. I am held here by the means of magic. Though my words may seem disingenuous, I assure you that I would be grateful beyond words if you would help me find the means of my imprisonment. A seal binds me, and by examining the earpieces of the sprites and grells, I may find a trace of it. Move buff's about to wear off, so let's re-up that. I'll try to keep that up at all times. I, I didn't... I wasn't doing that previously, but now that we're in kind of a harder area, I definitely want to do that. Is 
So I don't need the ciders yet. Um, oh, I meant to cast that before I cast Bear. And then I don't have enough mana to cast bear. That's no fun. So satyrs are corrupted night elves that turn into demons, basically. So if you read the lore of WoW and the invasion of the Burning Legion when they at the War of the Ancients, when they fought the um, when they fought the Burning Legion like ten thousand years ago or something, then they they actually get corrupted and turned into. Uh, into satyrs, so that's why they look sort of like night elves, but they're not. Luckily, these guys aren't as fast as the uh, striders. Four. down here. Alright, we'll go this way. I'll leave these ones over here to her. Oh, and we have a dwarf hunter and a human warrior. Fun. I keep forgetting to buff everybody. I say run by. Luckily, these guys aren't too bad to kill. They don't run very fast. So. so let's pull this guy next. Come on. Nice, I resisted his poison. Oh. <laughs> 
Uh, let's see. Yep. What, what fell off? Oh, the uh, pink one. There we go. See, something looks different. We got like four earrings in no time, and now we haven't gotten any for a, a little bit. Severing Axe of the Wolf. Nice. Scroll stamina, I'll put that on. I like having all these buffs. Five, six back slots open right now. I need to make some more bandages. Gonna clean that up a little bit. Uh, we'll work our way over here to the other side of the area of the ruins. a lot of great gear but I can't use any of it so that kind of sucks I should get some better drops I mean I only have one one piece of green gear and that's my staff if I'm not mistaken yep and I got that from a quest reward it wasn't a drop Alright, there's six. Finally got two more. The wild grail do not run. It's the uh, the other ones that do. Let's go ahead and kill this satyr. Kin, I think the other one's broken. Or Vile. Vile Sprite. That's the ones that run.
There's our rogue friend again. Ah, I should have just cast um, Moonfire on this guy to pull him. There we go. There's eight. Perfect. Now, this guy's going to give us a, a relic that we have to carry in our inventory and take it down to these other ruins and destroy it, if I'm not mistaken. Indeed. The Grells of Bashal Aran do not possess that which I am searching. However, they have come into contact with it recently. Recently. I would reckon that by your time, not mine, recent for me stretches into the veil of the past, almost another age. If the Grells have come into close contact with the seal that binds my eternal prison, I suspect I know the cause. No doubt the seal has come into the possession of the Seer. I feel strongly that this must be true, at least. One of the Seer must surely possess it. If you can obtain it, you would bring me so close to passing the bars of my prison that tears would come to me. Okay, so we have to kill the Seder now to get the, uh, the relic he needs. I forgot about that. There's one down here. There's one over here. There's only like four or five in this whole, this whole ruin. In all of these ruins, so... There's one there. There's one over there. Good thing is these guys are dropping money, so I have no problem killing them. Until I get fairy fire, there's really no other way to pull at range with a bear. So, I have to cast. Oh, excuse me, guys. A big yawn. Alright. Let's see if I can grab this guy. Come on. Oh, I forgot you don't... You don't like melee. Come on. Go to run. Oh, nice. We got it on the first one. Perfect. exactly need to toss the wrath in there but I thought I would anyways I'm just killing these guys for XP because I'm hoping this uh, this this quest will level us up. It 
It is hard for me to even believe that what I hold now is that which has held me for so long. Let us waste no time, adventurer. When the seal is destroyed, I might walk the floor. There it is. Again. It was the craft of one of the yep. most powerful of the Highborn that created the seal that formed my prison. In Amitharan, the ruins to the south that are twin to these, persists even today an ancient flame, blue in color. In this flame, this seal could be destroyed. Be wary in the ruins, adventurer. All right, so we have to take it down here to destroy it. But the good thing is we have more quests to do in that area, uh, including killing his like lover that died there, basically. All right, let's grab a thistle bear here, and then we'll head back to town. Because I need to sell. Uh, but I need one of these rabid thistle bears. Let's re-up everything. I can see this guy. I hate these uh, cliffs. You can't see anything. Oh, there we go. I thought I had to wear him down first. Come on, buddy. Let's head back to town. Wish I had uh, something to make me run faster. I think cat form you can move up to 30% faster if I'm not mistaken. But you don't get cat form until level 20. You'll get, uh, let's see, I think at level... Could be 14. So when you get uh, the quest for your water form. But the problem is you have to go to Westfall to collect a piece for that. Um, there's a necklace you have to basically... There's two pieces to a necklace. One's here in Darkshore, the other one's in Westfall. And good luck getting to Westfall. Um, I'm not going to swim to Westfall. That's not happening. I've died multiple times trying that. So we're not going to do that. And um, I would like to get cat form before I make the run to Iron Forge. Because I want to sneak through the wetlands. I'm not going to attempt it with the crocs there. So crocodiles there. So we'll get level 20 before we head there. Um... And so I won't get I won't get swim form until or, or water form until we get to probably level twenty at least, um, which is not that far off. I mean, honestly, there, we have lots of quests to do here, so I think we can hit level twenty here. Now, some of the quests get really hard, like Tower of Athalax, Cave Mushrooms, and the Furbolg. Those quests are pretty tough. Our work has only just begun, adventurer. Are you prepared for your next task? As I had feared, the cure does not work. It saddens me greatly to order the death of any of nature's beasts, but the sick and tainted thistle bears must be put down. Return to the forest and destroy 20 rabid thistle bears, adventurer. It will most certainly not put a stop to the plague, but it will slow down the damage the animals are doing to our forest and its inhabitants for a short time. Okay, so we have to kill rabid thistle bears now. All right, so we need to pick up fruit of the sea, and we're not going to pick up murk deep just yet because I don't want it clogging up our inventory, our quest inventory, our quest log, I guess. Hi there. So here's I'm another fishing blood. quest. I love crab. Crabs are the fruit of the sea. You can bake it, barbecue it, boil it, and broil it. They're pan fried, deep fried, and stir fried. Mm -hmm. There's crab salad, crab soup, crab stew, pepper crab, lemon crab, whipper root crab. And Iron Forge surprise crab. That's that's about it. I'm here fishing right now, so I can't get any fine crab chunks. You can pick them out of reef crawlers and encrusted tide crawlers. You can make a lot with it. You can bake it, barbecue it, boil it. All right, Forrest Gump. Thank you for telling me all the ways to make fish, fish or to make crab again. meat. Make sure I didn't need those boots. No, they're cloth. 
Oh, I didn't need that. Nice, there is a new belt. We'll sell that, sell that. Let's make some bandages really quick. We'll sell a stack of those. I think I'm going to run over to Darnassus really quick, and uh, we're going to... Stop by the bank, we'll drop off these healing potions, and we'll hit up the druid trainer and get our level 14 spells. Probably want to hit up the first aid trainer as well. So we can learn wool bandage. I think we get it at 70 if I'm not mistaken. We may not have enough here, we'll see. Could be 65. I thought I think it was 70 though. Hello. Right, there's a stack of those. I'm gonna go ahead and um, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of a stack of these eggs because I don't really need them now. And we already have we have Strider stew and we have the clams. And I have this I still have the kebabs, so. We'll stick with all of those for now. Farewell. So anything else I can do here while I'm in town before I head to Darnass? I don't think so. The Hippogriff is a noble beast, proud and swift. They are an honor to train and can quickly take their rider a great distance. Oh, so um, I did fin finally finish uh, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Great game. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, I felt that it was a lot harder than the, the first one. I mean, the first one was tough, but I felt this one was... Some of the boss fights, especially Darth Vader fight, was extremely hard. Sorry, spoilers, if you haven't played it yet, but it's been out for three months now, so probably should check it out if you like Star Wars. Um, really, really enjoyed it. I, uh, overall, I felt that the game wasn't nearly as good as the first. Um, you, you did get to keep all your abilities. Um, I liked the different stances with, uh, the lightsabers. That was really cool. Um, not so much about the blaster one. I didn't really care for that one. Um, I just felt that it was very uncivilized. Sorry. Um, but overall, it was a good game. Uh, the only thing I really, really wish that they had added more was different planets. I felt like they were really stuck on Kobo and uh, didn't really ex you know didn't have the chance to experience multiple planets like you did in the first game um, even if it was just small areas I mean there was what five and then you had that one space station on the asteroid I it wasn't really worth it I, I don't think I, as far as planets go um, you didn't really felt like you were part of the universe you were just you know you're stuck on like four planets and Kobo was massive so I don't know. I think Kobo was too big, but I feel like they could have spread that wealth among other planets so you get to see different things. And then, like, um, for um, Jetta wasn't big enough, if you ask me. Like, there was the, the few zones, like, what, two different areas? Maybe three different areas, and that was it. So, I don't know. Overall, great game, though. I have no quarrels with it. I think it was great. Uh, I really had to enjoy it. Um... So yeah, check it out if you haven't played it yet. Form your own opinions. Don't just listen to me voice mine. <laughs> that doesn't make for any anyone's good day. Okay, let's see. Pull these out. I might have to sell some of those if I don't need them as much. Um, we need one of each potion, basically. Go. Topped off on all of those. Um, actually, I probably have way too much in here. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to sell some of these peace bloom because we have a ton. All right, so we have a, du a druid quest. That's the uh, water form. We'll hit up the alchemy trainer. Oh, well, I'm maxed out my alchemy too. Look at that. Um, I need to hit up the alchemy trainer and the first aid trainer while we're here.
Welcome, my sister. If you are here to train, then I would be delighted to train you. There are rumors of strife within the Cenarian Circle, but you should pay such loose talk no heed. Our Archdruid, Fandral Staghelm, leads us and all of Teldrassil to glory. Let's just train everything. Don't really use Healing Touch. I probably should have waited on that one, but that's okay. Welcome, my sister. If you are here to train, then I would be delighted to train you. There are rumors of strife within the Cenarian Circle, but you should pay such loose talk no heed. Our Archdruid, Fandral Staghelm, leads us and all of Teldrassil to glory. You're now ready to learn about poison and the power we as druids ah, have over Ah, poison first, adventurer. okay. Cenarius has blessed us with the ability to purge even the most foul of poisons with but a mere incantation. This gift is not to be taken lightly. And to ensure you learn this lesson, you'll work to address the effects of poisonings as a layman would. Travel to Moonglade and speak with Dendrite Starblaze. He awaits your arrival to begin your lesson. Okay, so I gotta go to Moonglade. I forgot that poison came before water form. I was thinking that poison was after water form. I am on. You are kind to seek me out, but your skills are beyond my own. Have a word with Sylvana Forest, then, just over there. She's been looking for another. Okay, we've spent a I ton of money this morning. Potions over the long years, adventurer, and that knowledge is at your disposal. You have only to ask. Sweet. Good luck. There's that. So we have a couple of lesser healing potions now. And then, let's see, let's... Where's the cooking trainer? I think they're over here, aren't they? Let's see. Let's see if there's anything in cooking I can learn. Chanting. General trade. Maybe they're farther over. Actually, I'll tell you what. I'm going to buy another bag, I think. Well... Yeah, I think I want to buy another bag. Do you have a bag? You do not. May the stars guide you. I thought General Supplies had bags. Arts of Dawn. Oh, the cooking is down here. Cooking is a lifelong pursuit, and I see we share the same Crab passion. I'll train that. Thank you. I don't need these other ones because I can't even do those. Uh, devil clams. We'll definitely pick that up once we get there. So can I make anything? I can't. I need crab. I need more crawler meat. Right. Greetings. Um. Oh, smoked sagefish. I'll take that. Thank you. Farewell. Two silver for each one of those. I think I... I hate selling those herbs. Let's hold on to them until I'm out of... You know, completely out of herbs. Or out of uh, Peace Bloom and silver leaf, And I'll just throw them in the bank for now. And then we can sell them then. Just in case I need to make some potions really quick and I don't want to go out and farm, I'll, I'll at least have have them available. Oops. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have taken them out of the bank to begin with. That's okay. Um, we did use all of our... I'll take the stack of silver leaf. And we'll top off this stack here. Okay, sweet. Do I need mild spice? Oh, I do need mild spices for the sage fish and for the crawler meat. Okay, so we'll hang on to those for now. 
All right, guys, I'm actually going to make my way back over to Auberdyne, and then we're going to call it an episode there. It's a good episode. You know, we hit, we made, we got two levels. We hit the 14 and 15, and we were able to complete several quests in, in Dark Shore. Um, I'm going to start in between episodes here. I think I'm going to do some fishing. I'm going to go ahead and finish up this Dark Shore grouper quest and uh, fruit of the well, fruit of the seas crabs. Um, but uh, what is this fishing quest? It's uh, well, if I could get this thing to work, there it is. Uh, Gaffer jacks. That's what we need to f fish up. And then uh, once we finish those two, we'll be on to the next uh, adventure. And dummy me, I forgot to set my hearth in Auberdyne again. To the mainland, we have hippogriffs constantly flying between Ratharan village and Darkshore. Oh, we also need to get, uh, go to Moonglade as well. I forgot about that. I should have hard there, or should have uh, teleported there, but we'll do that at the beginning of the next episode as well. And I need to go turn Grove of the Ancients in. It's all the way down here. And again, why is it all the way down there? Because you're in like a level 15 to 20 area. I don't understand that. It's a level 11 quest. Why are you sending me all the way down there for that? I I don't know. I don't get it. Whatever. It's, it's dumb. Okay, guys, I'm going to set my hearth here, and then we're going to call it an episode. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I hope, uh, hope everyone enjoyed this episode. I hope you uh, come back tomorrow for more uh, hardcore druid action. And until then, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you next time.